We're on lesson 6-1, page 329. We've already done the beginning part, if you remember. So we're going to head straight to number 4. So Caddy has 6 times as many nickels as Sean. Sean has 18 nickels. How many nickels N does Caddy have? Well, we know that we have six times as many, so this is a multiplication problem. So we put n, our mystery number, is six times as much as eighteen. So what we have here is we have n times six equals eighteen. Oops, and see, I miswrote that. We have mystery number n is equal to 6 times 18. So what do we have? We have 18 times 6. And so now we're going to do our multiplying. Regroup that for 108. So she has 108 nickels. On to number 5. Kyle has watched 238 movies. Jason has watched 49 more movies than Kyle. How many movies M has Jason watched? Well, we know that Jason has watched more, so this mystery number M needs to be larger. So that's an addition problem. So M is 49 more than 236. So now that is our addition problem. So I have 238 plus 49. And so when I regroup that, I have 287. So he has 287 movies. Hey, now to number six. Amber has tied 89 knots in a rope. Hunter has tied three times as many knots in a rope as Amber. How many knots K did Hunter tie? Well, we have three times as many. So K, this mystery number, is three times as many as, or as much as, 89. So I have 89 times 3. So when I multiply, 3 times 9 is 27, regroup. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So she has tied 267 knots. Hand on over to number 7. Tia sells 292 newspapers. Tess sells 117 more newspapers than Tia. How many newspapers N does Tess sell? Well, we know that N is a bigger number because she has sold more. So this is a more than or addition problem. So I'm going to add my two up. And I get 409. As a model, this is what it would look like. We have Tia has 292. Tess has sold 117 more. So I'm adding that 117 to the 292 that Tess had. So then I would just figure out what does that equal. A model for number six would look like this. Amber's tied 89. And then it says that Hunter's times done three times as many. So that would be three boxes. So those are what my models look like for this. Number eight's a little bit different now, so let's check. Trent has 48 markers. Shannon has eight. Trent has blank times as many markers as Shannon. Well, what we have here is Shannon has my less amount of markers. So she has eight, and I need to keep making boxes until we get to 48, because that's how many Trent has. So that would be six boxes. So those six boxes would be Trent's, which is 48. So how many times? Well, that is one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So Trent has six times as many markers as Shannon. Our next one is Lucy has 317 bottles. Craig has 82 bottles. Lucy has blank more bottles than Craig. Well, what I have here is Lucy has more. So I'm going to start with my model of Lucy. She has 317. This whole thing is that. But now, what you'll notice is, that's a horrible, there we go. What you'll notice is Craig has 82. So I have this 82 here, 
And what I need to do is I need to figure out how many more, this mystery part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this 82. I'm cutting it off. And what math operation is that? That will leave me with what's left, which is subtraction. So I have 317, and I just cut off or took away 82. So I have 235. So Lucy has 235 more bottles than Craig. Now we'll head to our back. Roger swam 19 laps in the pool. Anna Marie swam four times as many laps as Roger. How many laps did Anna Marie swim? Then it says dry bar diagram and write an equation. So here we have Anne Marie has done four times as many. So that means we have four boxes. And each box is going to be 19 because that's how many Roger swam. So one box is Roger, but all the boxes are Anne Marie's. Now my equation, if I wanted to, is I have, oops, not N. We will use L for laps. So L for laps is equal to 4 times as many as 19. So on the side, I would do 4 times 19. 4 times 9 is 36. Regroup. 4 times 1 is 1, plus 3 is 7 for 76. So that would be 76 laps. Heading on to number 11. Nina says the equation 6 times 12 times 50 means 60 is 12 times as many as 50. Julio says the equation means 60 is 50 times as many as 12. Who is correct? Well, we have this first one always tells us our group size. So we have 12 groups of 50. However, what I would like to notice is that they are both correct. The reason why is because of that commutative property. Remember, 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. So it doesn't matter which order we do if we're just looking for that answer. Number 12. The amount that is left after dividing a number into equal parts is called what? Well, if I remember from class, this is my setup. So we have the dividend is inside, the outside is my divisor, and the answer is that quotient. So let's check. The amount that is left after dividing a number into equal parts is called what? So if you remember, we also then added an extra part, which is this. It's the part that's left. That is our remainder. That is the leftover part after we divide. So now we can use this problem to solve. We have 13 divided by 4. Well, we have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups. And then how many are in each group? Well, we have one, two, three. So we have three in each group, and there's one left over. So our answer is three remainder one. Number 13, a shirt is on sale for D dollars. The regular price is four times as much. Todd has enough money to buy two shirts at the regular price. How many shirts can Todd buy at the sale price? Well, here's our tricky part. The shirt is on sale for D dollars. So this is my sale price. So even though I don't know what that is, as a model, it would look like this. The regular price is four times as many. So my regular price would be one, two, three, four. This mystery number. So what that means is if the shirt was two dollars on sale, the regular price would be two, four, six, eight. The regular price would be eight. If it was twenty dollars, then the regular price would be twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So that D is just our placeholder because they don't tell us what the actual price is. It's that question mark, that mystery number. So it's now saying Todd has enough money to buy two shirts at the regular price. So this would be one shirt at the regular price. So two would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Ds, because that's two groups at the regular price. So now it says how many shirts can Todd buy at the sale price? Well, he could buy at the sale price one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You could buy 8 at the sale price. And my explanation is that model. Heading to our last two. Select the, all the senses that involve a comparison using multiplication. Well, we have this times as many. K is 26 times as many, so I'm going to select that box. Remember, more than is typically an addition problem. Tom ran four miles. Cindy ran two more miles. So that is an addition problem, four plus two. So I'm not going to mark that one. Johan has two dogs. And John has three times as many. So that would be Johan's group. And then John's would be one, two, three times as many. Because I see those three groups. So that is a multiplication problem, two times three. Chris has 14 times as many pairs of shoes as her brother. So again, I see that times part. Her brother has eight pairs of shoes, so I'm selecting that because it's a comparison. None of those wanted me to find the answer. It just wanted me to show which ones use that multiplication. Our last problem is select all the senses that can be true by, or select all the senses that can be represented by the equation 52 times 13 equals W. Well, 15 more than 32, well, that is 52 plus 13, so it's not the first one. 52 times as much as, oops, so I see that multiplication symbol being represented by time, so I will select that. Henry sang 52 songs during practice. He sang 13 times as many as Joe, so that's 52 times 13, so I will select that one. Greg carried 13 buckets of water to his sister's pool, baby pool. The mom carried 52 times as many, so that mom is being put to work. And our last one, Tom has 52 pens. Johan has 13 fewer. Well, that's 52. Fewer is that subtraction word, so it would not be that one. That's all we have for Lesson 6-1.